Men can play different roles in engaging um, both themselves and other men in ending violence and engaging their communities in ending violence. One of the roles that they can play is by starting with themselves as individuals in understanding why they grew up in violent homes, what was the legacy of their father or uh, an abusive mother or, but in most cases, an abusive father. Why was that father abusive and, and bringing it into your adult life and understanding that you have a choice. You do not need to perpetuate that same violence in, in your relationships. And so part of the work in how men can play a role in, in understanding is also then working with other men as role models in, in understanding and, and unlearning the violence. And of course there's a domino effect to that and so one man sees what the other man does and that becomes a community um, that works toward gender justice. Some of the most important allies um, to link up with in the work of ending sexual and gender-based violence and, and, and striving toward uh, gender equality are, first and foremost, families um, as a stakeholder. Um, then government. Uh, often we think that relationships with government needs to be antagonistic, but it's not always. There are opportunities for you to lobby and advocate with government and it doesn't have to be adversarial and they are definitely um, an entry point in a stakeholder um, that needs to be engaged. Um, at the community level, community health workers and particularly healthcare professionals um, where even they have been socialized um, and, and to not engage men in men's own health seeking behavior and so certainly for us in the work that we do um, uh, healthcare workers as a, as, a, um, as a stakeholder and an ally is really important because that first conversation they have with a man who walks into a clinic with an STI and not understanding what, what it is that he's sitting with or how to articulate that is important that, that he doesn't feel discriminated against and then also faith leaders um, faith leaders are incredibly important uh, often faith is is patriarchal and, uh, and and discriminatory and judgmental and so um, how faith leaders talk about um, equality and equity in, in, in relationships um, we found as an important stakeholder as well. And then women. I think I'd stop with women uh, as, as another stakeholder um, because women are, are often when, when, you, when you begin to get, engage men around um, sh shifting norms and, and thinking through patriarchy and, and what it is meant structurally and in their own lives, um, the risk of that is that um, the reverse happens where um, it's about um, what, what is the need of the man as opposed to what is the need of the women, but then carrying the conversation to what is the need of, of both of them in, 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 in relations of equality. And that's often where we feel the tension. And so how do we work with women in understanding the importance of engaging men and the benefits for both? What has made me personally take an interest in doing the work of engaging men and boys in ending violence, um, sexual and gender based violence, has been two things. The first um, was the experiencing my, my husband uh, being an engaged father and recognizing and realizing that essentially not all men are the same and that what we do with our children and how we um, raise our children in, in homes where uh, in partnerships that are equal has an impact on how they are raised um, and how they become adults. I didn't grow, in a, uh, grow up in a, in a home where it was equal, where my mother and father were in an equitable and equal relationship um, and where gender norms played a, a huge role in, in defining who they were as parents and so it was a surprise for me and a welcome surprise but I think a layer deeper than, than that for why I'm involved in the work <coughs> around engaging men and ending violence is the, the levels of violence that we experience in South Africa um, and that you get to a realization that the violence does not just impact on women and that 
uh, men who use violence um, has learnt that violence some way. And so for many years, um, I, as a feminist, as a women's rights activist, I was working with women, and that would make a difference um, short in, in the short term, it would make a difference to women, but in the longer term, not, because women would go back into that cycles of violence. And so I was very interested in understanding what happens when you actually go to the source, the root cause of that violence, um, or one of those root causes, and then that is how, how men have used violence.